My first memory of Piku, I think, is in kindergarten. And I remember just noticing that I had a closer relationship to the lunch lady than any of the other kids. Sometimes I felt uncomfortable like sitting at the table and everyone was eating something and I was eating something that looked weird and uh, sometimes I got comments on it like, what is that? It's hard also because I've had some difficulties with concentration, especially in school. And I will never know if that is because of PKU or if it's just who I am. In the healthcare system, I think the older I get, the less attention I get. Coming up to the ages of like the teenage years and maybe 15, 16, like those two years were very confusing. And because I wasn't prepared, I didn't even know that I was gonna change doctors. And feeling like there was no one I could ask was really scary. Between the age of 18 and 20, which I am now, I was still treated as a child patient, even though I was technically a grown-up. And it's not like I can just Google, because there's no information. <laughs> and everyone's PKU is different. There's not a single individual who has the same version of PKU. It has a lot to do with the people that you're surrounded with. She's very special to me because not only is she my mom, but she's also a huge part in, in why I get to have the life that I have today. Because there's not a lot of information that you can get yourself, because I think like maybe if I had another disease, um, I could just look it up. But having someone you can always ask is something I think everyone could benefit from.